keep in mind I move prostitutes to Asianic black women Walk up, be strong, and it's hard to keep a good woman down So keep coming, go for low, I take it, I get some Spill our props and I sip a lot of liquor I want the lyrical display as you around It's an open invitation, come and sit my house Hey, everybody. Welcome to the Let's Talk of Carolyn radio show on SedoraRadio.com. Before we get started, let's say hello, Mr. C. Hello, Mr. C. No, I um, mean, say hello <laughs> to the people. Hello, everybody. I hope you enjoyed your money. It was Monday money. You, you got money in your mind today? Yeah. I hope you enjoyed your Monday. It was a nice, beautiful Monday. I hope you enjoyed your weekend. Let's get this rolling. Buckle up and enjoy the ride. It's going to be a good one, like it always is. So welcome to Let Us Talk with Carolyn and Mr. C. Y'all come on in, join in, 
and let's get this started. Can you get him the phone number to call in for when it's time to call in? And if y'all feel like calling in, it's 215-909-6070. Feel free to call in if you wish. Mr. C kind of quiet tonight, y'all. I don't know why, but he is kind of quiet tonight. Hey, everybody. How y'all doing? Hi, Isaiah. Hi, Norman. Hi, Bright. Hi, Prince. So tonight's topic is going to be on some cancer and health awareness um, alerts and lawsuits that is going on. And I felt as though not enough people know about these lawsuits. And it has to do with the medication. Has a whole lot to do with the medication. So let's get started. So I could tell y'all about the medication that some of it is being recalled. Some of it is not. Hold on. And you may, if you know anybody that's on any of these medications, and I would like for y'all to share this information with them so that they know. And I will be giving you phone numbers to call so that that person can file a claim if they wish to. So let's get started. The first one is in reference to a company. Um, this one has been a, a, a big one in the news lately. The cancer alert for a company called a weed killer product that's put out by a company called Roundup. And Roundup has been, the product that's in Roundup has been known to cause non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. That's number one. But there's other ones. Now, if you don't know what Roundup is, it's a herbicide. And the people that use it is farmers, landscapers, nursery workers, home gardeners. Other cancers that this has been known to cause, along with Hodgkin's lymphoma, is hairy cell, hairy cell leukemia, chronic lymphocytic leukemia, small lymphocytic lymphoma, mantle cell lymphoma, B and T cell lymphoma. So if you know of anybody um, that has been diagnosed with any of those diseases or pathologies and they want to file a claim or they think they have a claim, but here it is. <clears throat> they have to have been diagnosed with these diseases and it had to be caused by Roundup, which is a herbicide that is used and um, we killer products. So the parent company, Mono Santos, is a parent company, but Bear, the company Bear, owns the company. And so far, they have settled 18,000 plus lawsuits. So if you know of anybody or you feel as though you know someone who has been diagnosed with Hodgkin's lymphoma, or any of the other cancers that I mentioned, this is the number that you want to call, 888-507-8641. Hi, Diva. How you doing? I'm going to repeat that number again, 888-507-8641. <clears throat> that is the number that you want to call if you uh, feel as though that person or you has been diagnosed with non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, which is direct cause from the Roundup, which is the weed killer. Parent company is Bayer, and the um, Roundup is a weed killer, is a herbicide that is used. And farmers, landscapers, nursery workers, and home gardeners use this weed killer. So that's the number that you want to call if you feel as though you or a friend or a loved one 
has been diagnosed with any of the cancers that I just mentioned. I'm going to get that number again, 888-507-8641. The next one um, medication has to do with diabetes. There is a lawsuit for diabetes, and that medication is called Invokana, I-N-V-O-K-A-N-A. Invokana is a new diabetic medication that was approved by the FDA. The drug targets kidneys to release glucose, which is sugar, through the urine. Normally, it is released through the pancreas, but pancreas stop. He's here, Robert. He He's at the station with me. Hi, Robert. Um, normally, pancreas produce insulin, okay? So the process has been known to cause ketoacidosis and kidney failure and stroke. The new medication that was approved by the FDA, this medication is called Invokana, I-N-V-O-K-A-N-A, is a new diabetic medication that is known to cause ketoacidosis, kidney failure, and stroke. The drug itself targets the release of glucose through the urine, which can cause ketoacidosis. If you were someone you know wants to file a claim or you think you can file a claim, that number is 888-901-8041. 888-901-8041. Moving on to number three. I got quite a few of them tonight, y'all. Moving on to number three is in reference to the transvaginal mesh and the bladder sling implant. Um, the FDA, the Food and Drug Administration says that the transvaginal mesh and the bladder sling implant has a high risk of injuries and complications. You know someone or yourself that has the transvaginal mesh or the bladder, high dot, high dot, high dot, um, the transvaginal mesh or the bladder sling implant, and you want to file a claim or you think you have a claim, that number you want to call is 888-508-0836. I'm going to say that number again. That number is 888-508-0836. So that's one, two, three. Moving on to number four. Number four, there has been a recall on this one because it has it has been known for causing uterine cancer. And this is a device that is used, and this, this pertains to women only. No men. There's no way this device has to do with any men. So, ladies, when you hear this, um, share this information with other women. It only pertains to women only. And it's a device that is used during um, gynecological surgeries. And something else I wanted to say. If you have or you know someone that has been diagnosed with uterine cancer, the device is called a power more accelerator, which can spread throughout the uterus, which means this device can cause a disease that can spread throughout the uterus. The device was put out by Johnson & Johnson. Johnson & Johnson is being investigated by the FBI over the surgical device. This is a tool that is used primarily for women who have hysterectomies as well as other gynecological surgeries. So if you know of a woman 
that has had a hysterectomy or some other type of gynecological surgery and she's been diagnosed with uterine cancer, she might have a claim. The number that you want to call or that person want to call is 888-901-8041. And Johnson & Johnson has done a recall on this device. If When they do recalls on devices, um, the medical arena is not supposed to use that device anymore once they do a, a recall. Last one for health alerts. Zorato. Zorato is a powerful, powerful, powerful blood thinner. And the FDA warns that the drug can cause serious and uncontrolled internal bleeding. So if you know of anybody that is high, Jason, if you know of anybody that is taking the Zorato medication, um, the FDA warns that this drug can cause serious and uncontrollable internal bleeding. With that individual, they want to get in contact with their primary care physician. I couldn't find a phone number um, for that for that particular drug and that particular drug recall for that one. Um, if I have any questions or you want me to repeat any of those numbers, let me know. What we talked about was the cancer alert for the Roundup we kill a product that's causing um, diagnosis with non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. Parent company is Bayer. They are settling so far 18,000 lawsuits. The Roundup is a herbicide that is used by people, um, farmers, landscapers, nurseries, workers, and gardeners. Their number, I'm gonna give y'all the numbers again, their numbers is 888-507-8641. Hi, Michael. How you doing? The next one we talked about was Invokana. That's a diabetic um, drug that was approved by the FDA, but it has been known to cause ketoacidosis, kidney failure, and stroke. If you feel as though you have a claim, that number you want to call is 888-901-8041. Hi, Kiki. Then we talked about the trans, transvaginal mesh or the bladder sling implant. FDA says it causes high risk injuries and complications. Hi, sweetheart. How you doing? And complications. That number you want to call is 888-508-0836. The last two there's been a recall for this device that is used in hysterectomies and other gynecological surgeries. It's called the power, power more, more accelerator, which can spread throughout the uterus causing uterine cancer. That device is put out by Johnson & Johnson. Johnson & Johnson is do, has done a recall but also they've been investigated by the FBI. If you feel as though you have a claim, call 888-901-8041. And the last health alert for this is a Rotto, which is a powerful blood thinner. However, the Food and Drug Administration, the FDA, has put it out that this drug can cause serious, uncontrollable internal bleeding. There was no... Um, number listed to call. So my suggestion is that you have the person call their PCP, primary care physician, and get an alternative medication. We'll also find out about the CVS has taken Kiki Audio Land. Kiki is on Facebook. She says CVS has taken Johnson & Johnson off its shelves due to asbestos. Okay, thanks for that. Thanks for that, Kiki, for letting me know and sharing that information. 
<clears throat> so all of everything I gave you is an active lawsuit. It's not just news. They are active lawsuits. That's why I gave you the numbers that you can call and file a claim if you feel as though you have a claim. You're not going to know unless you call the number and get the information that you need in order to file that claim. Okay. That's take care of the cancer, the health alerts, and health awareness as far as all these medications that is causing more health problems than we really care to have. So next on the list is I want to talk about medical marijuana. I'm in. What, you trying to get a medical <clears throat> marijuana card? Yeah. What was the last one again? The last one, Robert, was the Rolto. That is spelled X-A-R-E-L-T-O. That is a very powerful blood thinner. It's a blood thinner that can cause uncontrollable um, uncontrollable bleeding. Blood thinner, in other words, it's an anticoagulant. Anticoagulants are, all anticoagulants are blood thinners. This one is very powerful where it can cause internal bleeding and a person may or may not know that they are uncontrollably having an internal bleed out. That person definitely want to get into the um, PCP, primary care physician, or get to the emergency room if it's that bad. Okay, so that was the last one. If anybody else want, wants me to go back and give you the information because you may not have had a chance to write it down or you didn't get a number, just type it in and let me know and I'll go back and give you that information that you need so that you can um, file the claim if you feel as though that you're entitled to the claim. They are trying to kill us and the FDA are allowing them to do so. Kiki, there's a lot of our, our United States Food and Drug Administration, they allow over, I believe it's 300,000 plus um, products that is known to cause some type of disease. Whereas other countries, there's five countries that will not allow those three thousand those uh, 3,000 products to be used on their population of people. The, these five countries only allow eight of them out of the whole 3,000 or more, whereas the United States allow all of it until something happens to somebody and there's a recall or there's a lot of deaths from that particular product. That's our country for you. Whereas the other countries, I had a listing of the of the products. Robert, you could call in. Call in and give them the number, Mr. C. 215-909-6070. Robert, you could call in. 215-909-6070. So that's what our, fug, our, fug, our food and drug administration does. They allow a lot of products that these manufacturers to include big pharma um, that these manufacturers are using. And keep this in mind, everybody. There's no law when it comes to these manufacturers that create these products. There's no law that says that they have to list the ingredients that they put in their products. There's no law that says that they have to do that. They may know that there's an ingredient that can cause an illness or a death. They know that. But because there's no law, the manufacturers are not required to put the ingredients on the freaking label. <laughs> yes, I can say sterilization. Yes, I can. So because of that, this is what we're faced with. What I say is read the labels. 
if you don't understand, if you don't understand a label, just read it. Hi, you're listening to Let's Talk with Carolyn. Hi, Robert. How are you doing? Hey, how y'all doing tonight? We're doing good. We're doing, doing good. good. How you doing? Mr. C, how you feel today? I'm good. I'm good. How about yourself? All right. Good. Um, Carolyn, how you doing today? I'm doing awesome, sir. How are you? You know what? I I, got, I had to call them because, you know, a lot of this medicine that they're getting for people to take, it's mostly, and I don't want to say, you can correct me on this if you think I'm wrong, but a lot of them that prescribe it is your primary doctors. Yes. Because every time you go to the hospital or or you're in the hospital, like if you go in for emergency or whatever, the first thing they do is tell you, see your primary doctor. Right. You know, if, 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 if the, the hospital is putting you on the primary doctor and they don't want to take care of what your ailing or what your problem is, you know, they always refer you to the primary doctor. Now, the primary doctor, what he does when you go into his office, you tell him what's ailing you. First thing you do, look on the screen, look at wherever you look at, and want to prescribe you a pill. That's true. I agree with you. I agree. But, Robert, keep this in mind. Big Pharma, the pharmaceutical companies, have you ever seen where you have the pharmaceutical sales reps and they have they 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 case, and they're going to see the prime. They're going to see the physicians. They in and out there all day long, all the time, and every day. Right. So what they do is they give the physicians samples of the medications to try. True. So everyone is getting a kickback. The pharmaceutical companies as well as the physicians. Now the physicians is going to prescribe that medication to who to us right so that makes us guinea pigs more or less yes it does and the cure is worse than the ailment true again right. That's you're right to raise. okay you're 100 right about that you know about 10 years ago right maybe a little longer when i was out there working do you know a lot of them farms out there like in lansdale and all outside of philadelphia farmers sold that land to pharmaceutical companies so they can build them. Yes. And yeah. they build them places out there like crazy, steady making them pills. And you brought up the one thing I didn't say, Kyle, is that yes, these did. reps that go to these places with their <laughs> bags and stuff where they go to their cars and they get a doctor this product to try out, that product to try out. And then when you go in there, you say, look, I want you to, I got a pill I want you to try. Or I got this I want you to try. And he gives you a free sample, you know, and then the next time you get is that is at the pharmacy. That's yeah. true. I know Robert, um, my primary care doctor, he's like an old fashioned, old school doctor. I would never trade him in. But he had took on a partner. And I'm gonna call my doctor is a DO. There's a big difference between a doctor of osteopathic medicine and a medical doctor. Big ass difference. The doctor that he partnered with was a medical doctor. And when I couldn't get in to see my primary, who is a doctor of osteopathic medicine, they would tell me Dr. So-and-so is available. I never wanted to see Dr. So-and-so because every time I went into Dr. So-and-so, he's like, well, Carolyn, we're going to try this and see if it works. So I nicknamed him, Dr. Try This and See If It Works. Well, what if it don't freaking work? And every time I come in here, I got to pay a copay. If it don't work, I got to come back and see you again to get another medication so you could tell me, Carol, let's try this and see if it works. And that's, well, that's the type of doctor he was. Let's try this. Why can't you get, give me something that you know for a fact is going to work and I'm not going to have to come back in here for the same thing? Because of pharmaceuticals. Right. Different. Like I and said. If you haven't noticed, your primary doctor really, really don't touch you or go over something with you or where you're paying it and all that first thing you do is go in that computer and prescribe a pill. That's the difference between a medical doctor and a doctor of osteopathic medicine. My PCP is a doctor of osteopathic medicine. He will take the time out to talk to you. 
He's not so quick to just prescribe you a medication. He's not. If he don't have to, he won't. Mm. Freaking medical doctors, quick to prescribe a medication. That don't you, work. This particular well, doctor was, let's try this and see if it worked. And it didn't work. That one you called out, the Envacana? Yeah. I called them, I let's try this to see if it worked, Doc. I still got some of them. I stopped taking it way a long time ago for the diabetes. Okay. The Envocana that I was talking about? Yep. That one you was talking about, en en Envocana. Right. That's the drug that was approved by the um, FDA. That drug right. is known to cause ketoacidosis, kidney failure, to include stroke. And my doctor gave me that for the diabetes first off when I first time that I had it. And I was taking it and I got right off of it real quick. How long ago? Oh, this was a good while ago. This is about four or five, maybe ten years ago. Okay, then you probably wouldn't fit in for a claim. No, I don't think so because it was a long time ago. I still got them though. Well, now, now you can be in. Now that you have an educated mind on this, because you heard it from me, you can just trash the Invokana. Really? If you if you had it, you still have those pills. I think I still got them in the drawer. Yeah, I'm never throwing that now. Well, you don't need to. You know what? They have an expiration date. I got look at. I think it's out there. <laughs> if they got an expiration date, you don't need them no more. I won't. I wouldn't take them because they had some discrepancy about it when they first when that first got it. Mm -hmm. The side effects, you know. They had some. They had a lot of things about them. I said, you know what? I ain't taking no more of that shit. Yeah, well, everything that I mentioned tonight is active lawsuits. That's why I, I know, gave I out the phone number. Around, that's why I, I get about that roundup. I used to use that roundup in my yard a lot. What roundup? So, mm hmm. I used to buy that a lot and use it in my yard because I had a lot of weeds up against my gate. Okay. And I always was spraying that back there, but I don't know how bad it has done anything to me. It seems like it helps them grow more than anything else. It don't really kill them. It's a herbicide. It don't, it don't, you'll never see it disappear. And I still got it back there. Yeah. It's a weed killer, but it's a herbicide. Yeah, but it's not killing no weeds. It ain't killing no, no weeds. No, but it's causing weeds cancer, kill that's for sure. Mm, killing us, yeah. Yeah, it yeah, causes cancer. Yeah, killing us, but not the weeds. Right. <laughs> that was the 52 fake out. I know, I guess we the weeds. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just want to touch base on that. I'm good. Thank you, Robert. Thank you for calling in and have a great night. Y'all yeah, have a great night. I'm going to keep on listening. Okay, All right. thank you. Deuces. Don't say nothing wrong, Mr. C. Oh, you know oh, I you am. Know I'm going to call back. Oh, you know <laughs> I am. I can't wait. <laughs> nah, I'll be waiting on it. Hey, you know what, Robert? I have. Right. I'm saving something for last. And All I'm going right, to ask the question. And I'm right. saving it for last. So you might call in. I don't know. We'll see. Okay? Huh? You might be calling back in. We'll see. Because I am saving something for last. All right, good enough. I'm going to keep listening. All right, take care. Thanks, Rob. All right, thanks, Mr. C. All right, deuce. Hi, Shelly. How you doing? Hi, Zamir. How you doing? Kiki says they get paid to write prescriptions. Yes, they do. But you, they, they're experimenting on you. Experiment on their patient. And you are the patient. Aren't you the patient too? All mm -hmm. of us are patients. Pretty much. That's what I'm saying. All of us. Yes. They experiment the on you with these pills or these things that they don't know if it works or not. So let's try it. Yeah. Yes. Hey, Mark. How you doing? That's true. They are. However, however, if a person wants to stay up on it, like I said, one thing people don't do is this. When a doctor prescribes a medication, how many people actually ask the doctor, what am I taking this for? And what is the side effects? What is the side effects? How many people actually ask their doctor that? And how many people really look it up? Number two, when you go to the pharmacy and you pick up your prescription, they got this whole thing that you can roll out and read it. 
How many people actually take the time out to read beyond how much you're supposed to take during the course of the day? PID, take as needed, take two pills, PID as needed. Okay, I take one in the morning, take one in the afternoon. How many people actually read the side effects when you roll out this paper from Walmart, Walgreens, CVS, or any other drugstore? Few and far in between. Yes, Kiki, they are using us as guinea pigs. You're right. You agree with Mr. C. Absolutely. Hi, Tara, how you doing? But that's 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 one of the two of the things people can start doing. Don't just accept a medication that the doctor is prescribing to you. The doctor is getting the, the meds from he Big Pharma. He's getting a check. From Big Pharma. Yeah. So it would be in the best interest of us people, the end user. To ask questions. Why am I taking this? What is the side effects? The side effects could be worse in, than the damn disease or and the illness and itself. A, and if you see some of these commercials, it is. I mean, they, they tell you it can cause high blood pressure, stroke, or even death. Yes. But you're taking it. Yes. Okay, so the cure is worse than the illness. And if you hear that, like when I watch the commercials, and I'm looking, when I watch the commercials, especially medical commercials, when I watch them, I'm looking for the fine print. It's in there. Even though they say it like rapidly, real fast, mm -hmm. I'm looking for the fine print because my end all question is, why the fuck would I want to take this shit? And then the fine print is really a fine print. It's yeah. damn near so small, you can't see it. Kiki says she, re she read it when it's first prescribed. She's one of she's one of the I'm few. One of a few, yeah. Yeah, she's one of the few that actually take the time and do that to read all of it to find out <coughs> what the hell you take What's the side effects and, and what is else. it going to be doing to my body. Yes, you have people that's on BP medication with all the side is yeah is good, but with all of the side effects of BP meds, it had it can literally deteriorate someone's health. In the long term, and it yes, yes, and it do, and it, believe in it not, the it, long term, and it hurts them too. Yes, physically, and more mentally. physically than mental. Both. I, I I'm not both. saying I'm not saying not both, but I am saying more physically than mental, because their body little by little starts to deteriorate. Yeah. And then that's then that that's when it becomes like a mental thing. Yes. In certain certain ways and in certain parts of your body, it really do it breaks it down, breaks your body down. It does. Yeah. I've seen it. And a lot of people that take blood pressure medicine, or as you call it, BP. Yeah, BP meds. Okay. It 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 affects you in a lot of ways, a lot of ways. I agree, but what options? do people have Go. are there options that people have Go natural is blood pressure is bp blood pressure high blood pressure is it preventable do you think it's preventable yes or no do no. y'all think blood uh blood pressure high blood pressure is preventable and, and it's, just and type in yes or no i'm gonna give you the answer but just type in yes or no if you think high blood pressure is preventable and there's a lot of causes of that's high blood was, pressure that's what I was getting because to say. I already did a special on high blood pressure on here is, did I do it on here or did I do it on? You did it here. Okay. I did it on both, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's a lot of causes. Robert says no. Robert says no. Robert says no. <laughs> he don't think it's preventable. High blood pressure is preventable. Yeah, but the but it is it's hard because of the fact that the chemicals and things that they put in food nowadays is giving you high blood pressure, cancer, and all and um, you know, a lot of diseases are coming from the foods we eat. I agree. Because this of the is chemicals how, they put in it. Keep this in mind. This is how this is how come I said when I first started this. 
I said, read the labels of what you eat. Yes. Yeah, I heard you. Okay. If the, if there's an ingredient on a label that you don't understand, right? Take it. What? Everybody got one of these. Well, what is that? Everybody has one of these. Well, what is and there's that? a camera attached to it. What is don't, that? don't, um, don't be afraid to take a picture of the label. Go home and look it up. Or while you're there, you can Google. go to WebMD or go to Google and actually look up the ingredient. And it's going to tell you what that ingredient is. Good afternoon. Welcome to Let's Talk of Carolyn. How may I help you? Yeah, Who am you I speaking right with? On, on Facebook. Huh? You cut right out on Facebook. I did? Yeah. I'm still here and people still logged in. I don't know. You cut right out of mine. Try logging back in, Robert. I'll pay your phone bill. I ain't got no problem with the phone bill. <laughs> <laughs> No. I ain't never had nothing turned on, my brother. <laughs> Rob, try logging back in because I'm still live. Now, I know last week. They cut it out. They Facebook just shut me down, period. And then I had to go back in, and I lost, I lost a lot of people when that happened. So, Facebook, if that happened again tonight, I'm going to come back in, and I need y'all to come back in because I did a, a special Facebook censors. I don't know why me, but Facebook censors what I post and what I do and what I be saying. But it's not just me. It's a lot of other people that are being censored by Facebook. And the Facebook feel as though we're talking about something that they don't want us to, to, to promote or we're talking about something they don't want us to share. Facebook will shut me down and my screen they will be black. They don't educate nobody. Yeah, that's true too, Rob. You and Mr. C educate people too much, and that might be the problem. I'm going to see if I can get back into you, though. I don't know why you sit right out like that. Okay, Rob, come on back in. All right, let me find you again. Okay. Listen up, face, um, Facebook. <laughs> Facebook. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that didn't come out right. No, it sure did. <laughs> your mind was moving faster than your mouth. Yeah. <laughs> My followers that is on here, if Facebook shut me off, I'm going to come back in and I want y'all to come back in because I'm coming back in. Facebook, do they, they, they do me dirty. It happens. And so far, it's been happening quite often. Oh, yeah, almost every week. Yeah, every week I get shut off by Facebook because... Too much input. What? I'm not saying anything wrong, though. No, but the information you're giving is like... Hold up. But that's the purpose of my show. We understand. We understand that. Facebook don't want you to do that. I'm going to do it anyway. Yes, and they're going to shut you down anyway. Then I'm going to have to find another outlet to share my information and to get people to follow me on another platform. You're on YouTube and the radio. Yeah. Facebook just don't like you. Yeah, that's true, too. So getting back. <laughs> Um, read the labels, everybody. Take the time out to read the labels, not only on the medication, but also on the food that you're putting in your temple. This right here is sacred. This is our temple. Nobody can take better care of your temple than you. Um, complementary alternative medicine, CAM. There's a lot of complementary alternative medicines. And me being a professional, I can't tell someone legally, I really can't say, stop taking your medication and instead do this. Legally, I can't do that. Number one, I will lose my license. However, I can say, I suggest that you see your primary care physician. I suggest that you take a look at some complementary complementary alternative medicine options and discuss them with your primary care physician. I can legally say that. I cannot legally say stop taking 
this medication. Okay, well, me. look, I can say it. If it if it's not working for you and you're uncomfortable and the side effects are worse and the side effects are worse than the pain that you're having, stop taking it. Try something else or go to your primary and say, it's not working. It's not helping. Pain medicines and all that, it's not working. So stop taking it. Right. You can say that. Yeah. I can't. I know. So they can't take my license. No, because you don't have one to take. <laughs> You don't have one to take. Right. So no, I would I would really lose my license. That's why I can't do that. If, look, I if it's not working for you, there. stop. Because it ain't doing up but doing you harm more than it is doing you good. So don't even try, you know, don't even I it. agree with what you're saying. And go back to your doctor or go back to a, a, a change doctors. A second yeah. opinion is always good. So change doctors and go to another doctor and say yada yada, this, that, and the other, and see what he say or she say. Yeah, that that can be done. Because most of them are really just in for the money, as far as big farmers are concerned. Well, big farmer, um, I can't think of this guy's name. They make billions and billions of dollars of trying to kill you. Kevin, what was this guy's name? Kevin Trudeau. Kevin Trudeau is an author that exposed Big Pharma. He put out a lot of stuff about the pharmaceutical company that the pharmaceutical company didn't want the public to know. And if you look up, just look up his name, Kevin Trudeau, all of his books will come up. Purchase the books. It will give you an eye opener of Pharmaceuticals, physicians, government, in that order. Pharmaceuticals, physicians, and governments. He put this book out about 15 years ago. He was warned not to put it out. He put it out anyway, and he had to go into hiding because he put that book out anyway. And a lot of people put the book any way. So I open. You got one? Yes. I have three of them. I have all three of his books. Book of profile. I bought them books about 15 years ago. Book of profile. I'll lend you my books, but you got to give me my books back. I normally don't lend out my library, but you got to give me my books. If I lend it to you, you really got to give me my book back. Okay. I will. And you got a certain amount of time. Oh, see now, stipulations. Yeah, there's going to be stipulations because it shouldn't take you six months to read my book. Okay. Maybe a month. Give me six months then. I'm not giving you six months to read my book. Okay, give me four. How about you read it in a month? How about you said... Moving on. <laughs> Hi, everybody. How y'all doing tonight? Hi, hi, Aravella. I'm going to just say the last name, Aravella. Mark says, go to YouTube. I am on YouTube. I am on YouTube, Mark. Oh, he says, got to go to YouTube. LOL. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yes. And he put the link up there. Listen, everybody. You can tune in with me on YouTube and the CEO has put the YouTube link up here. You are more than welcome to go to YouTube if Facebook shuts me out again. The link is up here. So copy the link and save it because on all the shows that we have, all of, all of our hosts on the Sedora team, we also go live on YouTube as well. So, next up is medical marijuana card. You have some people who want to get a medical marijuana card. So, I'm going to tell you how to get the card, but I'm also give you some warnings about the medical marijuana card. If you just want to get high every day, legally, 
you ain't going to get a marijuana card. You're not going to get a marijuana card. There's certain conditions that are stipulated by the government in order to get a marijuana card. Any doctor, number one, any doctor cannot prescribe you a marijuana card. It has to be given by a medical marijuana physician that has went through the training with the state. I don't care what state it is. It has to be given <coughs> by a physician who has went through the training to become a medical marijuana doctor. Now, expenses. The thing about getting a marijuana card, it's not covered by insurance. Hello? Not covered by insurance. You, because you want it, is going to have to put out some money. Some medical marijuana physicians charge anywhere from $100, $150 to $250, that's just to see them. Once they see you, you gotta have some conditions. I'm gonna give you what the conditions are according to the states that have legalized it, marijuana, medical marijuana. So how to get it? One, you have to register through the program with your state's medical marijuana registry. You have to register for the program with your state's medical marijuana registry. Then you have to reach out to get a physician who is certified as a medical marijuana physician. The physician is gonna ask you about certain medical conditions. I'm gonna tell you what they are you let me know if you fit the description for a medical marijuana card. Now, if you don't know of a medical marijuana physician, call me. I know some. Next is, like I said, you're going to have to pay for the medical marijuana card. Then you're going to get your medical, your prescription, once you get your prescription, you have to take that prescription to the marijuana dispensary. Once you get to the um, medical marijuana dispensary, you're going to see, it's a name for these people because I apply for it. Um, they're like in, in layman yeah, term, sure. no. They're like in layman term a pharmacist, but there's another name for them. There's a specific name for them, but in layman term, they are a pharmacist. Drug dealer. No, stop playing. <laughs> so anyway, you take your prescription to the dispensary and get your prescription filled. Now I'm going to give you the qualifying conditions. Qualifying conditions are amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, anxiety. How many people, if, if I expand on something, take heed, okay? If I expand on something, take heed. Anxiety. How many people do you know suffers from anxiety? I know quite a few. As a matter of fact, I'm sitting in front of one of them. Oh, you got jokes. <laughs> you think I suffer from anxiety? Yes. Why would you say that about me? Mm. Can you help me out? You have the symptoms. Of what? Anxiety. No, I don't. No? No. I no, don't. No. No, I don't. No. I have not been diagnosed with anxiety. No, you have not been diagnosed yet. No, and I'm not going to be diagnosed with anxiety. <laughs> no. Moving on. Autism. Cancer and remission therapy. A person who has cancer, and I'm a I'ma add this. A person who has a terminal illness is also eligible for a marijuana card. 
Crohn's disease, damage to the nervous system, primarily the brain and the spinal cord, spastic movement disorders, jumping all the time. Spastic movement disorders, epilepsy, seizures, glaucoma, people who have been diagnosed with HIV or AIDS is eligible for a card. Huntington's disease, inflammatory bowel disease. Inflammatory bowel disease. Inretractable seizures, multiple sclerosis, neurodegenerative diseases. That's 15. That's 15. Moving on. Any type of neuropathies, people who have diseases or pathologies of the nervous system and you on medication for the nervous system. Opioid use. This is a very, very big epidemic. Opioid use is a big, 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 big epidemic in the healthcare industry, especially among veterans, especially among veterans. And you want to talk about MDs prescribing, just prescribing a script and say here, they write opioid prescriptions like you buy Skittles in the store. You know how many Skittles is in a bag? A well, whole lot. Yeah, I never took the time out to count them. That's how often they write the scripts for opioid use. I could imagine. Mm -hmm. So with these individuals who have been prescribed opioids, there is um, some doctors and advocates that are pushing for other alternatives for these doctors to be prescribing instead of opioids. And marijuana is one of the alternatives. Op opioids is more addictive than marijuana. And there's different ways that you can use medical marijuana. It doesn't always have to be smoked. You can eat it. Edibles. Bake it. I didn't say that. Moving on. Parkinson's disease. PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder. Severe PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder. Severe chronic or intractable pain of the neuropathic origin or severe chronic intractable pain. You're in pain, period. And your medication that you're on doesn't work. Sickle cell anemia, I mentioned terminal illness earlier, and Tourette's syndrome. Um, when I hear Tourette's syndrome, it reminds me of a parent. I was teaching sixth grade at the time, and it was report card time, parent teacher night. And one of the parents sort of attacked me. She's like, well, and she was attacking me because I wouldn't cut her son no slack as far as him not doing his homework. I want the homework done. And she says, well, you do realize my son has Tourette syndrome. Okay. That's not going to excuse him from doing his homework because he got Tourette syndrome. Today, a child can get a marijuana card for Tourette syndrome. The parent can become the caregiver. The parent can be, hi Tanji. The parent can become the caregiver. The caregiver gets the marijuana meds 
from the dispensary and can give it to the child who has Tourette syndrome. Remember I talked about Charlotte's web? Charlotte was a little girl who had about 27 seizures a day. Her parents moved her to one of the first states that legalized medical marijuana, Colorado. They got her on medical marijuana and it reduced her seizures tremendously. So she went from having 27 seizures a day to having eight seizures a day. Did the medical marijuana help? I would say it certainly did. Yep. Er -re. Yep. -er -re. Yep. Okay, that's the first. Really? Yep. -er -re, huh? Yep. Okay. <laughs> okay. Do y'all have any questions that you want to ask me about any of the medications I mentioned or any of the phone numbers to see if you want to or if you or someone you know can fits the description of filing a claim? Did you give out the phone number? I gave out the phone numbers when I was talking about the medications. Oh, I didn't hear it. Give it out again. I gave it out twice. We'll give it out again. For the Roundup lawsuit with the weed killer herbicide, and you want to know if you have a case or a claim and you've been diagnosed with non-Hodgkin's lymphoma or you've been diagnosed with all the other leukemias I mentioned earlier, you want to call 888-507-8641. The Invulcana, which is the diabetic medication that I was talking about, and also the medication that Rob called in and talked about, if you feel as though you have a claim for that one, the number you want to call is 888-901-8041 for the transvaginal mesh on the and the bladder sling implant. That number is 888-508-0836. For the medical device that is used in hysterectomies and other gynecological surgeries, you feel as though you have a claim for uterine cancer and you've been diagnosed with uterine cancer, ladies, that number is 888 901-8041. And the last one was the Ralto. Hi, this is, let's talk with Carolyn. Who's the caller? What's your name? Where you calling from? Yeah, this is Robert. I couldn't bring you back up. Go to YouTube, Rob. Huh? Go to YouTube. Go to www.youtube.com. And type in Sador Radio and you'll see me live. Fine, let me try that. Okay. Um, CBD, cannabidol. You see CBD everywhere. Everywhere. You see CBD sold in the stores, sold everywhere. Um, a lot of people may feel as though it's not legal. It has came a very, very long way. Cannabis was at one time a legal prescription in liquid form in the early 1900s. But when it was discovered that people were getting intoxicated, it became illegal in 1937. Hi, Ricardo, how you doing? So I have done um, information sessions on the marijuana plant. There's a whole lot of parts to the marijuana plant. Um, you have hemp and you have over 
100 species of cannabinoids that derive from the plant. So I want to, hold on everybody. I want to tell you, let's start off with, is it legal first? And at one point, it was not legal. And today, it is legal um, let me say this. At one point, it wasn't legal. CBD wasn't legal at the federal government label. Okay. But it was legal in some states at the state level. Now, because of the Farm Bill of 2018, CBD is legal at the federal level. That's why you see all these stores popping up all over the place that has CBD products to include the malls. The malls have stores that have CBD products. Network marketing companies all over the world popping up with CBD. CBD has a lot of medical benefits. I'm going to give you some. Can't list them all. We'd be here all night. So it's been known to relieve pain, and Mr. C can testify to that. Hallelujah. You know what, Mr. C? <laughs> all right. What do you mean from the time I was having the pain in my thigh with the When you had the, the sciatica? From sitting on my wallet so much? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was, yeah. You had the CBD cream, right? Yeah. Did it work? Yeah, it did, yeah. See, Mr. C can testify that it works. And I had to move my wallet. Yeah. Yes. It has been known to reduce anxiety and depression. Anxiety and depression are mental health disorders. And CBD has is documented that it reduces that. Can alleviate cancer-related symptoms. Helps decrease chemotherapy, induce nausea and sickness and vomiting. May reduce acne. Can have a neuroprotective property such as um, reduce muscle spasms and assist with um, assist with multiple sclerosis, MS. Heart health, it reduces blood pressure. Mr. C, what's wrong with you? Nothing, I'm listening. You look like you're straining. No. Yeah. Oh, okay. Straining from what? I don't know, I just, I saw the expression on your face. Yeah. Heart health, it reduces blood pressure. I can't say stop taking your blood pressure medication, but I can say give CBD a try. I can say that. Give CBD, give it a try. Um, there's something else I wanted to share. Is to, my pages have numbers, everybody. That's three. So with CBD, it comes in several forms. You can get it in a liquid form. You can get it in the edible. And you can also get it in a topical. You can get it in the topical. Hemp is another product that is on the market that's from the cannabis plant. However, hemp has been used, well, both of them really has been used for centuries, but hemp has not been under scrutiny by the government like cannabis and cannabidol and CBD because hemp has been used to make a lot of things we use in everyday life. You have something you want to say? No, I don't. Okay. All right. I want to get into the CBD business. 
I want to explain what the word, what the acronym CBD means. CBD is cannabidol. Canna C bid B doll D I O L C B D. It is a compound that is found in the hemp and the cannabis plants. Hemp and CBD plants is federally Robert. He says he takes it three times. You take three kinds every day. Robert, I want to talk to you. Hemp CBD today is federally legal because of the 2018 Farm Bill. Prior to that, it wasn't legal at the federal level, but it was legal in, at the state levels where the states passed it. Today, as of 2018, because of the Farm Bill, it is legal at the federal level. That's why you have so many um, people who want to get into the CBD industry as growers, processors, transportation, security. It's a whole list. Um, ways you could take, it's still 150 over 70. That's high, Robert. That BP is high. And you're taking three kinds every day? That's still high. Remember, I said I asked the question: Do y'all think blood pressure is preventable? And the answer is yes, unless it's hereditary. Is high blood pressure hereditary? Yes. Why you say yes? Because a lot of people that had high blood pressure is like it passed on. It's not genetic. That's the only way it could be passed on is if it's genetic. When, hereditary? When, when it's hereditary, it's passed on through the genes. Yes. So you think high blood pressure is passed on through the genes? Yes. You think there's a gene for high blood pressure? Yes. That it's going to be passed on to the next little person that's yes. going to grow up to be an adult? Yes. You really believe that? Yes. I don't. Okay. Look it up. Oh, believe me. I <laughs> We get ready. We get ready to go to commercial break. I knew that was coming. <laughs> so I can look this up. <laughs> hey, everybody. You've been listening to the Let's Talk with Carolyn radio show. And so far, we have talked about some active lawsuits on medications that, <clears throat> is, that is known to cause cancer, uh, some type of cancer. We've talked about the vaginal mesh. We've talked about the bladder implant. We've talked about the diabetic medication. I've given y'all those numbers. So I'm going to take a short, 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 short break, and we'll be right back. You got something you want to say to the people before we go on break, Mr. C? No. Okay, you good. All right. Okay. All right, I'm gonna look this up. Drink wine every day. Okay. I'm gonna look this up while we're on break. So now we're gonna use what we got to get what we want.
you know what, right? You know what, y'all? He was right. I was wrong. Should I tell him he was right? Hey, everybody, I'm back. You've been listening to Let's Talk with Carolyn. Mr. C went on a short, 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 short break. But I'm going to share this with y'all. Mr. C was actually right. Um, genetic factors are likely to play some role in high blood pressure, such as heart disease and other related conditions. The risk for high blood pressure can increase even more when heredity combines with unhealthy lifestyles, such as smoking cigarettes and eating an unhealthy diet. What causes hereditary high blood pressure? I didn't even notice, Mr. C. He got one up on me tonight. Um, besides such factors as obesity, salt consumption, and alcohol intake. Genetic factors play an important role in the development of hypertension. In some rare cases, familial hypertension is caused by mutations within single genes. He was right on two things. Too much of this hormone results in high blood pressure. Mr. C was right on two accounts. I tell him when he come back off a break, but maybe I should keep it from him. I don't know. Let's see. Um, so getting back to the CBD business, um, you can get CBD in a liquid form, meaning a tincture infused. Okay, Robert, um, you can get infused edibles, but also topicals. Those are the ways that you can get your CBD tinctures, infused edibles, and topicals. Um, I have all three, but I make um, a pain management cream with mine and some other ingredients that I use so that it's very, very effective. CBD is one of the, I can't say one of the few, but is one of many that have over 100 compounds in the hemp and cannabis plant. Here's the thing. This is, this is what makes the cannabis plant illegal. Tetrahydrocannabinol. That ingredient right there, that product right there, gets you high. Gives you that euphoric feeling where you feel good, high, intoxicated. That's what makes the plant, that one ingredient is what make the whole, makes the plant illegal. That's why it was on, I believe it was a schedule one as a narcotic, and then it got moved to a schedule five. It got moved to a schedule five because of the CBD, because of the medicinal part of the CBD. That's why I got moved to Schedule 5. This is why you see CBD popping up all over the stores. Farm Bill was a game changer. Farm Bill was a game changer. So, if anyone is interested, if anyone is interested in the CBD information sessions, the CBD information sessions is going to be held, I believe, every Friday. If you're interested in the CBD business from learning about the difference between the hemp, the cannabis, full spectrum, isolate CBD products 
how to start a CBD business, understand some legal aspects of the CBD business, how to create and market your CBD products, and be introduced to other companies that is killing it in the CBD industry. So if you're interested in learning about the CBD business, those information sessions are free. They free. You do not have to pay anything to come to the information session. You don't have to pay anything. However, you may be interested in investing in yourself to get into the cannabis industry. This industry isn't going anywhere. And because of the growth of the CBD industry, you do not want to miss the boat because guess what? That carnival ship is going to sail with you or without you on it. Why not be on it so you can sail with it? Okay. So that's what I'm going to say about the CBD, the CBD business. And I also put up there in a post about some um, natural alternative to different lifestyles. So I'm going to mention some conditions. And then with those conditions, I'm going to give you some alternatives uh, that are that's more natural. I will say this, researchers, re science, researchers in science is utilizing food as medicine. In other words, they taking it back to the old days. Mr. C, you are right. You were right about it being her hereditary. You found this on there? Mm -hmm. Okay. You were right about it being hereditary, but I, I'm moving on to natural solutions. So I'm going to give you some natural solutions to help with your human body system. I'm going to give you some conditions. Some of them is not going to be conditions. If they pertain to you, here is, I suggest... Here is the natural suggestion, the high Levine, that you can use. So let's say for cold and flu, and cold and flu, most people rush to the pharmacy and they get OTC, hey Levine, they get OTC meds for the cold and the flu. Natural remedy is eat dark green leafy vegetables. Keep this in mind, our vegetables have a lot of nutri nutrients in them, especially if you eat them raw, okay? If you have indigestion, there is an essential oil called Digest Zen. And I'm going to... I'm going to do this so y'all have an understanding of how to spell it. That's how you spell it. Digestion. Um, that is With a, a Z. Z. Yeah. That is a all natural essential oil that you can take as a supplement. This is not digestion. This one right here is lemon. I put Lemon is good for detoxifying your body. And when you when you get lemon essential oil or any oil, make sure on the label it says supplement. If it doesn't say supplement, don't do it. Read the label. Read the label. So with lemon, lemon is a natural, um, it's detoxification. I put two drops of this. Levine says, hey, Mr. C. Hey, baby. Um, I put two drops of this lemon essential oil into, I prefer to put it in my water. And there's certain waters that I drink. I don't drink spring water. Nope. 
It's either going to be purified or alkaline water. And that's least. That's purified. It's either going to be purified or alkaline water. One of the alkaline waters that, well, actually two alkaline waters that I do drink. I started out years ago, years ago drinking Fiji. Fiji is an alkaline water, but now I drink Essentials, and I drink Essentials alkaline water because it is 9.5. It's right up there on the pH scale, 9.5. No, 9.0. I'm sorry. It's a 9.0 on the pH scale, so it's highly alkaline, which our bodies is supposed to be anyway, but because of the foods that we eat, the beverages that we drink, puts our body into an acidic mode. There's certain areas that's supposed to be acidic, but there's other areas that should be alkaline because bacteria and viruses, I'm having a hot flash. Mm. Um, you have some bacteria and some viruses who cannot survive in the alkaline environment. That's key. Next is nails. If you have short, brittle nails, you might want to um, massage them with coconut oil. And I did a special a couple of weeks ago of the chemicals that is toxic that's in nail polish. And y'all, y'all ladies, y'all go to the nailery every week or every two weeks. But the chemicals that's in the nail polish has some toxicity to it. And I, I gave y'all the the ingredients that was in it that made it that makes it toxic. Okay. Next is if you have dry, flaky skin. Use honey. I'm gonna go to this real quick because this last 15 minutes I got a question for y'all. Um, weight management. Uh, for weight management, I know people believe low fat, fat free, all that good stuff. No, stay away from any products that say low fat or fat free. And I'm gonna tell you why. Guess what? The body stores it as sugar. The body stores it as sugar. Instead, replace it with fiber, avocado, olive oil, um, any type of seeds, vegetables. Vegetables is very high in nutrients, also high in fiber, which is a cleansing system for you. You got something you want to say, Mr. C? No, ma'am. Not yet. Eczema, if you have eczema like I do, try using magnesium baths or use a all-natural cream that you can create yourself so that way you know what's in it um, for your eczema. And if you don't want to do that, you can go to Target I think Target and Walmart has a brand in there called Dr. Teals. Dr. Teals is really, really good. And you can purchase the magnesium. It's purple or green bag, whichever one you're buying. But the name of it is Dr. Teals. Next is stress. If you are a person that has been diagnosed with stress, you want to stay the hell away from caffeine. And the reason why I say stay away from caffeine, because guess what, lovelies? It increases your adrenaline, sends it right up to the roof, and that causes stress. If you have arthritis or any type of joint pain, you might want to try turmeric. Turmeric is a herb that you can make a um, pain salve with, or you can make a tea with. Yes, Levine, Dr. Till, she knows exactly who I'm talking about. UTI, urinary tract infections, drink cranberry juice. Why? Because cranberry juice prevents the bacterial adhesions, 
within eight hours. And it has been known and documented that cranberry juice does that. That's how come we as women back in the old days, we were told, oh, you got a UTI, drink some cranberry juice. And it's still a all natural remedy today. My eyes are red and I'm looking sleepy, but I'm hanging in there with y'all. Next is a uh, vertigo. Vertigo, you can use basil and you can use basil um, as an option for vertigo. Asthma, if you are asthmatic, fish oil and vitamin C, and this help relieve some of the symptoms of, of asthma or reduce an asthmatic attack from coming. Digestive, we talked about digesting, but you can also use lemon water with probiotics. Probiotics such as um, lemon water with yogurt. Yo Some yogurts have probiotics in it. You can use it for that. IBS, irritable bowel syndrome, peppermint tea or digestion, hair loss, eat some more salmon. If you're not a salmon eater, you might want to consider eating salmon. And the reason why you want to consider eating salmon is because it has the omega-3 fatty acid. You don't have no hair. The omega-3 <laughs> omega fatty acids in it. And that nourishes your hair shaft and your cell membranes that's in your scalp. Well, didn't you say loss of hair? I'm not messing with you. You don't have no hair, Mr. C. You hear it out. Hear it out. So, yes, divine. It does help you be. It does help you breathe better. It does. What's that? Um. What I was just talking about. Salmon. Yes. No, yes. you were talking about asthma. Divine. I was talking about asthmatics. Yeah. Yeah. It wasn't. Want me go back? No. For the asthma. Asthma, 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 asthma. Fish oil and vitamin C. Okay. Yeah. Asthma, fish oil, and um vitamin C. So, Levine, I got a question. Mr. C might disagree with me on this, but it's all good. Levine. You are a woman. My question for you is this. Fish oil with, hold on, Levine, vitamin C for asthma. Fish oil and or vitamin C, it helps reduce the symptoms of as, asthma. So, Levine, here's my question. Let's say you were out with your man. Are you okay with another woman asking your man out on the dance floor? Yes or no? Or do you feel, no, just answer that first. Are you okay with your, a woman asking your man out on the dance floor? Now I asked somebody else this question earlier, she gave me an answer. Okay, you said no, right? What if, hypothetically, what? I got you, Levine. You said hell no, but let me finish the question. What if the woman came to you and asked you, is it okay if she danced with your man? What answer would you give her? Levine is still with hell no. He better not. Oh, it's still hell no. Okay. Okay. All right. That's my question. No. Okay. All right. Wait a minute. Hold up. Hold up. Whoa. That question is going left and right. How? How are you going to ask her? She's a woman. Okay. I understand that. How is that you're going to say that 
And it's like, you didn't go through the whole scenario. You just said that one question. If she asked you or she I asked, gave her two scenarios. Okay. And that was based on? This is what I said. I said, Levine. 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 Just Levine. She answered me. Is it any other women on her? Or is it just her? Exactly. Levine says all the men at the party, why her man? Levine says, okay, oh, oh, wait, hell no. Okay, suppose you know that person, though. Levine, Mr. C says, suppose your man knows the person. Is you going to be okay with this woman dancing with your man on the dance floor? Hi, Robert. I'm uh, Robert. I'm glad you're back. She says, "Get your own damn man." Wait a minute. Stop now. See, it's based on you. Went, you are in not not in a home. You are in a club. I say it on the dance floor in the club. She still okay, saying, "Hell no." Okay, it's people at the table with y'all. The answer is, is still no. Really? All right, Levine. Now she says, it depends on the dance. Thank you, Yvonne. Thank you for changing. Her name fact, is Levine. Levine, why don't you call in? How about that? 215-909-6070. Call in. in. Thank you. We can talk. Now, you got so much to say. Call in so we can talk. I asked Levine, is 215-909-6070. Now, I asked somebody the same question tonight i said what if a woman asked your man to dance on the dance floor how would you feel she said i would be upset hi levine how you doing i'm doing fine and wait listen it all depends on the dance and who the woman who the woman is it all depends on the dance and who the woman is. Thank oh, you. Oh, you just love that part. Yes, I did. <laughs> wait, listen. Wait, uh, say that again. My my husband, um, my husband is saying, "Don't go out the from let him hit." I said that it all depends on the dance and who the woman is. That's what I said. If it's, a, if it's a family member, then I ain't got no problem with that. Okay, then what? If, but wait a minute. What, what is it? What What if it's just a real old friend that you know? You've known for a long time, but it's you dance. I mean, you, you're not like slow dragging. You're just dancing. It's not like you're rubbing up on them. It's like, okay, say the bop, the cha-cha, the line dances. Bring your own man to the party. Bring your own, bring your own man to the party. Okay, well then then had then the majority of the time, I'm just the majority of the time, he's just gonna be sitting there. It's like, okay, babe, you wanna dance? No. Who who goes who gonna say that? Me? Not Pre me. Because mm. every time you want to dance, I'm going to dance. Okay, and then it's just me and you there dancing. Excuse me? Levine. There's this more people There's more people at the table. It's like, dance with you. Okay, I'm going to dance with my sister. I'm going to dance with my cousin. I'm going to dance with the friend that we know over here. It all depends on the friend. And the dance. It all, it all depends on the friend. And the dance. No, not the dance. You heard what she said. It depends it on the depends friend. On, uh, who the person is because you know slow dancing period oh I'm, period. okay i understand that part but saying you cha cha and but bopping understand this part understand this oh you don't part. know how to bop understand this part it all depends on who the person is okay <laughs> understand that all right but then that person showed the, the person showed the other person respect and said can i dance with him like bopping that happened? Huh? He, he don't know how to buy. Huh? He, he hey, point made. He don't know how to buy. Okay. So what's the what's the point? Look, what, <laughs> tell her what's the point. It's you certain, said it's a certain it's a certain is. dance. It's like, okay, it's a certain dance. If he don't know how to bop, but you know how somebody says, okay, is it all right if I dance with your wife, bop with your wife? 
What would he your would husband say, say, Levine? He would probably say, yeah, it's up her to her. husband right ahead. there, Levine, what would your husband say? As a matter say? of fact, yeah, ask your husband. What would you say? <laughs> it depends on who it is, just like he said. Okay, but then, okay, but saying he don't know how to bop, but you do. So it's like, you know, you knew somebody, you know somebody from your past or whatever from, there's not a boyfriend, it's just an old friend. He comes up to you and say, and excuse me, sir, is it all right if I dance with your wife? Can we, you know, can I bop with your wife? And his, his, his well, he, he said he said he can bop all day long. <laughs> at the table, right? <laughs> He'll two step it. And he's gonna get a bop at the table. <laughs> He'll two step it. <laughs> um, but yeah, it all depends on um it all depends on the person. Um yeah. Yeah, and and if he's drunk, then he definitely can't bop. So we better not be drunk. <laughs> I like him already. Y'all going out with us. It's okay, whenever, whenever. But wait, listen, he ain't dancing with nobody. Mm -mm, not at all. No, you gonna say it's dance for me. You ain't say it's dance for nobody else. I know that's right. Nobody. Okay, uh, say we okay, say we all went out together. And I would say, um, excuse me, Levon. I'm saying, uh -huh. well, whatever your husband's name is, I say, excuse me, can, you know, can I dance with Levon? Uh -huh. he, he said that if, if we went out together and he asked you, um, can he dance with Levon, what would you say? He probably yeah. say no, because he don't know you. He said fast dance. Yeah, I mean, bopping a fast dance. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I, no. Fast dance. Uh -huh. yeah, I need some space. Yeah, but he said he needs some space in between. Him. Ain't no problem. I'll stand all the way across the room and holler at her. <laughs> and you know what? Well, that's true. Yes, that's and true. And you know what, Levine? Tell your husband that's the way it's supposed to be. An when another man is asking another man's right, that's the way it's supposed to be, and it's based on principle. If you want to dance with someone's uh, spouse or significant, significant other. That respect should be there. You're supposed to go to that person that they're with and ask them, is it okay if I dance with so-and-so? If that don't happen, there's no respect there because that's the way it's supposed to be done on principle and out of respect. Anything beyond that is unacceptable. Indeed. Yes. Okay. Levine, thank you for calling in. You're welcome. I appreciate you calling in and sharing as always. Levine, <laughs> I just want you to know I don't like you. Yes, he does. I don't like you either. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's two of us. Yes, he does, Levine. <laughs> Take Have care, Levine. Man. Take care. <laughs> thank you. That's our time, everybody. You have been listening to Let's Talk with Carolyn on Sador Radio. We have covered a lot of topics, um, the health awareness alerts, the lawsuits, the CBD business, how to get involved in the CBD business. The informational CBD sessions is on Friday. If you're interested in any of those sessions, Give me a call at 267-679-8784. And please don't forget about the Kings and Queens Empowerment event that is coming up in March of 2020. And the whole goal of the Kings and Queens Empowerment event is you're going to, my listening audience is going to pick um, five topics that has been covered on both shows Whichever the top three are, those will be talked about and expanded on in the Kings and Queens Network and Empowerment Event. And there will be five entrepreneurs there that will be talking about their business because they're doing great things in it that you will be interested in getting involved with. So the whole purpose of the Kings and Queens Empowerment Event is to make sure you walk out with having a business. 
that's our time. Mr. C, you have anything you want to say? No. Thank you for tuning in and listening to Carolyn. Let's talk with Carolyn and Mr. C. I hope you enjoyed your Monday. Enjoy your night. Be careful. Be safe. And LaVon, we good here. <laughs> <laughs> Deuces. Y'all have a good one. Good night, everybody. Take care. Oh, and Rob, how you doing, man? The last time we talked, you know, it was like a good conversation. Hope to talk to you again next Monday. Be good. Thanks, Levine. Thank you. I want to take the time out to thank everybody that tuned in on Facebook. Robert, um, thank you for calling in. Levine, thank you for calling in. Appreciate your participation, as always. <coughs> Ricardo, Tunji, Aravello, Mr. Sador, Kiki, Tara, Shelly Zamir, Jackie, Mike, Jason, I'm going to be calling you tonight. Dorothy, thank you. Robert, thank you. Diva, thank you for sharing. Isaiah, thank you. Norman, thank you. And Prince Alfred, thank you. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in with me and Mr. C. Check us out every Monday, 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. on www.sadorradio.com. Take care, everybody. Yes. We might have some um, events coming up in the near future. I forgot to do the reviews. Yes. <laughs> oh, man. Mm. I do that on another live. But we're going to have some, uh, we're going to have some um, events coming up. Yeah. In the next year. And stay tuned for that. Yes, stay and trust me, we're going to turn it up, turn it out, and turn it over. So come on out, listen to us. We'll let you know when it's going to happen. And come on, participate with us. We ain't nothing but fun, stupid. <laughs> Deuces. Take care, everybody. Good night. Take care, everybody. If you're watching this on the replay, just type in replay. If you have any questions about anything I covered, um shoot put it in the comments or send me a text at 267-679-8784 good night everybody have a good night